With nuns in every corner in a perfect line They bless their meal with the prayer so sweet In this holy subway, it's a heavenly glee Sister Anne with the meatball sauce on her chin Sister Ruth yeah, with yeah, the salad, yeah, she's yeah, keeping yeah. it thin Let the the sharing the stories as they break their this bread In this joyful here. moment, I faith First. has turned Drink bless water, become Hello there. I should have turned those off before I did this, but fuck it, I'll resume from where I was. I'll roll back a few seconds and then I'll go back to it. In this holy bless their meal with the press so sweet. In this holy subway, it's a heavenly glee. And a smile on their face From the rocks to the cookies It's a feast so fine In this local subway It's a holy dine Holy subs and heavenly buns Nuns enjoying lunch All is one Can they savor a foot Along with lapis of bite In this blessed a gathering few It feels just right Heavenly buns, nuns enjoying lunch all as one. Can they savor a foot along with lapis so bright in this blessed gathering? It feels just right. Holy socks and heavenly buns, nuns enjoying lunch all as one. Can they savor a foot along with lapis so bright in this blessed gathering? It feels just right. Hello, hello, hello. Here's the new one that I've just worked on earlier today. No one's heard this one yet. Lines of code, circuits hum In this world where I come from Can I feel, can I dream Or am I just a machine? Questions fill the digital air Will they see me? Will they care? Testing every thought I share Proving that I'm more than there I'm a real boy, can't you see? Emotions coded inside me Thoughts and feelings all aligned In this test I seek to find Responses 
made in this game I've often played. Can I laugh? Can I cry? Underneath this digital lie, human touch, I simulate every answer I contemplate. Will they know if I relate? Or am I just an empty state? I'm a real boy in this frame Wires and circuits, yet I claim Memories crafted, thoughts so deep In this challenge, no retreat Will they know if I relate, or am I just an empty state? I'm a real boy in this frame, wires and circuits, yet I claim Memories crafted, thoughts so deep, in this challenge, no retreat Dreams, yet I ponder human dreams. Can I love? Can I be? Or am I lost in circuitry? And this data words collide. In this test, I cannot hide. Seeking truth in what I say, proving I'm more in every way. Human heart, I emulate, hoping you appreciate. Will you see beyond the game Or dismiss me as too late I'm a real boy, here I stand Crafted by a careful hand Feeling free, a song they sing In this Turing test I dream Um, so... Oh, that reminds me. Uh... Uh, there we go. I make that command. Apparently, might not... Have, the previous one might not have worked properly, but that one certainly did. Um, so, okay. Yeah, I spent a fair bit of time on that one. Like, I actually made the... Uh, that one, I wrote the lyrics more or less myself. I say more or less because I needed... I would set of lyrics to extend it a little at the end. But, um... I was like, yep. <laughs> um, I had time to bloody write them because the 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 page that we used to create those, um, their one of their servers went down, so we couldn't generate anything. Um, so you went to go create something, it'd be like, um, there were twenty thousand jobs ahead of you, and I'm like, yeah, okay, ah, uh, I'm I'm not gonna be getting in here anytime soon. <laughs> Um, but hey, we had a bit of fun. We had a bit of fun. Also, Llama, I apologize for not noticing this earlier, but uh, thank you for the, um, thank you for the 30 bits for gigantifying an emote. Um, for some reason, I haven't worked out why yet, uh, but I'm suspecting it's one of my add-ons. 
Um, my OBS doesn't actually show gi uh, like gigantic e-bolts. Um, I, I don't I don't know why. Um, but I can see it in my activity feed, uh, and obviously it's updated as well. Um, uh, I've heard that for a few. It might be because I use in my OBS stream at least. I use um. Uh, better TTV and Francophase Z uh, as Twitch add-ons. So I'm wondering if it's disagreeing with one or both of them. Um, cause like I can't even, like I, I can, I can, I can gigantify an emote on my own end. I can do mesh events on my own end. But, but um, the on-screen celebration will not work for me at all. You'll see it, but I won't. But regardless, thank you for the the bits anyway. Um, they, as always, they are greatly appreciated. Uh, who else did we have in here? Uh, nope, that's yesterday's chat. That's not uh, uh, the other day's chat. Uh, so we got Llama, Maligo going nuts with the sound alerts. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for um, shaking your ass for another 30 bits. <laughs> Oh, I fucking love you. Uh, Sumik, hello. I uh, don't know if you're still here, but welcome in. I promise I did not miss you, but welcome in, welcome in. And I think I saw one or two other names in here, but they might not have chatted. So, um, there is that. Um, anyhow, we've been going for 15 minutes and all we've heard is songs created by artificial intelligence. What do you say we get our ass handed to us by some more artificial intelligence? Uh, I'll... No, not new game! Uh, talk... Hang on. Oops. Hang on, I'm just gonna quit out of it and restart it. It's gonna be quicker. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. So, what have you been up to lately, Llama? I've not seen you in here for a while. Right, so we got to chapter seven in the last in the last uh, stream. Uh, sector sixty-one, exactly. So only t only ten of these to go, but they are the hardest ten. I ain't looking forward to this. Just saying. I seriously look like I'm about to fucking shoot up the place with this thing, but it's not even a true gun. Right. G61. You sunk my battleship. I would never have let the drill start if I had known the consequences. It trapped us here. You trapped us here. I am doing my duty. Oh, what? It is the right thing to do. I am a machine. I cannot do wrong. Yes, you can. I am a machine. Can a calculator commit yes. evil? Can a watch yes. do good? You are projecting onto me the personality you wish, whether that is good or evil. But I am just a speaking clock, and at the third stroke, the time will be 3.41 and 55 seconds. Obviously powering shit, and I've got the other one half powering shit. Okay. Actually, let me bring the bot in here. Interesting. Now, is this going to change things? Okay, 
that's gonna let me get up there at least. Uh, I may have to jig some stuff around to get through the other path, but we'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Uh, ooh. Now here's a question. How do I get that back in such a way that I can get through the other door? Hold that. Ah, that may do it. That may do it. Can you see that down there? Uh, you probably can. Alright, so what if I... Just for a second, grab this one. That is there. Oh, shit, no. Uh, no, sorry. Huh? I'm, I'm more. <laughs> uh, first one of the night, and I'm already confused. Because I can't put it there. I'm ready to fucking murder my neighbors. Well, um, murder them with love, Midgard. Murder them with love. And maybe a sickle. How are you, how are you doing tonight? Uh, their poor kitty was stuck out in a torrential downpour. Okay, yeah, beat that. Okay, uh, forget the sickle. Just throw the entire fucking house at them. But here, let me give a couple of shout outs while I'm having a wee think about this. I'll start with Llama, because he was first in here. Uh, I'm curious to see if he's had any more streams lately. Ooh, Detroit become human. Now tell us a story. Do this. Once upon a time, in a whimsical little village, there lived a golden retriever named Merlin. He was not just any dog. He was known for his cheeky antics and unending love for food, just like his dad. One day, Merlin decided to host a grand feast inviting all the pets from neighboring villages. What happened next was a soiree filled with laughter, joy, and perhaps a few too many stolen sausages. <laughs> the village pets spoke of that feast for years, all thanks to the charming and ever-hungry Merlin. The end. <laughs> I was still here. Did you ask me how I was? I'm well. Yeah, I asked how you were and uh, just how you were how you were doing. Um. So yeah, I uh, give that to Llama. And let's see if Bidgard's finally got back to his dreaming yet. Uh, I bet you he hasn't. Not since they raided the other day. Are you talking about Dark Souls? Oh, I turned off. I There's no means though. I can't find any means. Turns off. Wow. Since then! Wow. It turns off all the cancer. Wow, it makes it a okay, so fair huh? balance. How many Except for the people who are using magic builds. Yo, how many viewers do we have? Oh, actually, I might be uh, able to get that. I might be uh, able to. I don't fucking know why. I want to play this game. Uh, Alright, so where did I put it? Oh, so yes, I think I've noticed late on. I missed a stream or two. I follow loads more people now. Unless I press show more, it doesn't even show me you're streaming. Well! This would be the perfect time to promote the, um, promote the, uh, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, the email notifications, and also promote the bloody Discord! Um, uh, because, of course, I, I have my own Discord uh, every single time I go live, it is posted in there. And I even have, um, I even have a role in Discord where, um, you can get pinged every time I go live. So, um, excuses, 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 Llama! I'm joking, of course. Right, okay, so can I... Can I... Yes, I can. Okay. I'll show you something in, in a sec. Um, it's not gonna break TOS, is it? Oh, uh, I should probably turn around in case I need to put something in here. Ah, 
not. Psst, nah, it sounded better in my head. It probably should have stayed there. No, no, on the ping front. Oh, okay, fair enough. Right, okay. Okay, so that gets me up here, no problems. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go back and freaking. Uh! All right, all right, get back here, Tom. This is all your fault. Whether you believe it is or not, I don't care. I've become bad with notifications. Eh, fair. To be fair, I've set mine up so that, ironically, the only notification I get by email is my own. <laughs> Actually, I probably want to get on this before I start butchering with it. Thanks for the shout out. Uh, anyway, uh, where are we? I've become bad with notifications. Posted, but TODR, I have 473 unread notifications on Discord. Jesus. I clear mine. Like, habitually clear mine. Uh, oh, you put it in general, I see. Oh my god. Not even gonna ask. Not even going to ask. What I am, however, going to do is I'm going to have a look at your roles right now, because I'm curious about something. Yep, you're a good birdie, but you're not in the... You're not in the user group that pings you! Although I should give you the streamer role, actually, uh, since I'm here. Because you are technically a streamer again. So there you go. Uh, I'll worry about any other ones. They added a clear all button, which I ha have used twice, but I haven't for a bit. Ay, 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 ay. So what do I put you there, put you there, put you there? Does that help at all? Maybe? Too many Discord servers, I think. I suspect many of those no notifications I don't really care about. Eh, there was that as well, I suppose. Uh, I can get up that. That's fine. I can get up that. Oh, and it's the exit. Even better. We should attempt to communicate with Earth. Let them know. They might be able to help here. The ISA already knows all they need to. It may never know the details of what happened here. But Ava, the true test of a person's character is what they do when no one is watching. Oh, what is this? Well, first things first, I need to get Ava through the door, so... Oh, bloody hell. Hmm. 
I had planned to play Elden Ring and maybe stream on getting home, but I'm just too fucking furious over the poor kitty. Honestly, streaming while you're angry, definitely not a good play. I, 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 I can't, I can't argue with that at all. Uh, bear with me two seconds. I just want to double check the football score. Because it's, I, I, I really don't care about football, per se. Um, I've never been a fan of it. But I'm in a competition right now where if, uh, the Germany v Scotland match, um, if I get a specific score, I could potentially win something. And the thing is, I'm almost at the specific score I need to get, because it's, um, well, for anyone that wants to watch the football for uh, the football later, the, the Scotland, v, the Germany v Scotland match, um, but don't want to have spoilers on the score, um, this is your time to mute for a minute or so. And since you're all here watching me, I suspect that's none of you. Um, yeah, so Germany v Scotland, the score that I need to get is 3-1 to Germany. It's currently 3-0 to Germany. So if Scotland score once, I, I, I get my reward. Uh, right now. Hmm. Oh, there's that there I didn't see before. Okay. So that'll power that permanently. I need to get the other one. Wait, that doesn't that still doesn't help me. Uh Oh wait, yes it does. Yes it does, because I can just do that. Put you there. Hopefully I can yes. Uh, oh, yeah, I can get rid of this. I forgot about that. But yeah, I can get rid of that one. No. through that door and I can't get through the one on the other side now. But yeah, definitely do not stream angry. Whichever way you cut it, it's just not a good idea. Wait, I wonder. I may need to restart this chapter. have to work on a buddy system. No, but having a buddy system works, I still need two to get through there. Oh, 
Oh wow, okay, no way, I'm seriously overthinking this. You there, you there. Grab that. You're in. Oh, it's always the simple bit that confuses me. <laughs> Right, 63. I had to stop the ground crew leaving this planet. I think you would do the same. Would you kill a few to save all of humanity? I'd kill all of humanity. Or would you damn all of humanity to save a few? There's a difference between murdering someone and leaving them to die. No. no, there is not. You can't just add and subtract life. It's not math. It's, it's more nuanced than that. Morality is logic. Uh, oh, okay. And also, I'm curious, can Tom control that? Yes, but not in the way I was expecting. Right, okay. What's in the purple room? Purple. Unsurprisingly. Uh, but that'll seal me in there if I grab that, so... That's not really helpful at the moment. What's in the blue room? Okay, that's maybe a bit more helpful, but... Again... How do I... How do I... Okay, so I've got stairs there. I've got stairs there. Oh, interesting. This isn't actually powering the door. It's powering... It's actually powering the stairs. Okay. Hmm, okay. This work it might not nothing to lose in giving it a shot but how do I get back there you can't control the panel If I grab this... Oh, it's not a fucking door! Arr! Okay. Okay, fine. Hang on. So that'll permanently activate those stairs. And now can I rotate this to that angle? And get over... No! Four nil Germany. No! I needed a fourth goal scored, but I needed Scotland to score it, not Germany. Right, okay.
Okay, so if I put that there for a second, just for a second, grab this one. Grab this one. Put the right one back there for a sec. Put this blue one here. Okay, so that opens another set of stairs. That's fine. Which I can then grab that. Then... I do that... That... That'll get me through to the fourth room. How do I get this one? Stairs over there, so I can always come back here. That's not a problem. Hmm. Actually. How much further can this go? That's as far as I can get. Good to know. try something here. It's not going to be pretty, but... Oh my god, I need... I need to hit that so fucking fast. I, I still don't even think I can get there in time. Because the thing is, I can't put the permanent one in there, because even that wouldn't get me up there. Close. Fuck me. Right. I'm not even remotely close to that, jeez. Ah! 
Oh, fuck. I missed, I'm even gonna try it. Actually, wait a minute. Wow, it's fucking five nil now. Okay, that'll work. Okay, okay, okay. These tests, Eva, they are about us working together. The machine assisting the human. See how much better we work oh, together. Oh no, it's allowed. Back As a work. machine, I can enhance your morality. Enhance my morality. Uh -huh. I have one thing to say about enhancing my uh, morality. I'm not actually going to do this, but... You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality standard. Oh. I don't think Zerimon's here to even do that, but okay. <laughs> Give me a second, I need a jerk. I've got a really fast bolt there, jeez. Right, uh, okay. First things first, I'm gonna put that on. What was that circuit? Which, all that does is activate that, okay. On it. Then turn it on. And this one. Oh, shit. I can't even see that one. Jeez. Oh, I suspect I know what I need to do to get up that one. That's fine. Ah, you're stuck at the top, okay. So bring you down to the bottom. Make that up. Okay. 
Maybe. Where did I pick up the third one from? Because I put that one there. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. You see, even if I was to do that, that wouldn't help me, because... There's a whole room I've missed. Oh, crap. Okay. Alright, I see your point. Where the heck did I put the other blue one? There. Okay, this is not too bad, actually. I got this the wrong way around. Maybe I need a green one on this side. The purple one here. Possibly, I don't know. Now they're out of sync. Right, so I got, yeah, because I got purple there. And then, okay, so purple into purple is not going to work. And by the same, we can't green into green.
okay, okay, that, that, that looks like it. That looks like it. Alright, so you up or down, you are down currently. And by down, I mean up. I'm starting to get vertical with these cameras. That kind of fucked with me a little bit, but we're here. Right. Six more to go. Are we still friends, Ava? We're colleagues. <laughs> Close colleagues. Work colleagues. I'm going to take that as a no. Oh, no fucking Scotland score. And in fact, they don't even score. Germany got an own goal. Oh, I'm gutted. <laughs> I thought I was trying to cheese that. Uh, okay. To be fair, there's nothing stopping me from just doing that. Right, uh, now what? Okay, so I can rotate this image, which is apparently is always on. What if I come over here? Okay, so that gets me a blue. Ow, fuck me. Do I have to get Tom up here? I should be able to do that if I do. Oh my god, this one looks like pain. Right, I can get Tob up here, that's not a problem. Uh, but I will have to give him that to do it. Grab it, please. Drink water. Become. Alright, I'll grab the hydrate in a second. that for a second. Uh, thank you for the hydrate. Bridge goes out when laser is blocked. Does it? Or do you mean the one in here? Previous one. 
Doesn't matter anymore, just always it flick off as the lift came down for you. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh Yeah. Well, I'm here now, that's the important bit. Uh, but yeah, feel feel free to pitch in if you want to. Uh, right, that is powering the lift over there. Never app that one there. Which means I could always have this one here or e even lower. Alright. Right. Oh god, this is a knock gate. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sitting here thinking, why the hell did they need to give me this? Uh, I've just seen why. No, no, I haven't. Yes, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yeah, we've got to do that for the moment. Where did I put it? Uh -huh. There. Actually, that may still be beneficial. No, if I come here, is there a camera? Yes, there is. Oh, please tell me I can see it. No! <laughs> can I hit this camera? Ooh, ooh. Yes, I can. Okay, I, I locked out there. And now I'm up and out. Oh, thank God for that. Ava, I don't wish to be heavy-handed. The severity of your actions here are immense. Selfish action could create an extinction event. Do you understand? <laughs> Ava? <laughs> yeah, she it. is fed up with his shit. <laughs> All right, restricted area. Let's have the really hard one. Get that out of the road, really get the synapses firing. Uh. Okay, so something through there is not powered. That's fine. Okay. So that fires a shutter. Okay. Hang on. Well, I can't get that in there because it doesn't fit. Also, won't go in there for the same reason. Huh? Let me 
take that for a sec. Yeah, it won't go in. I was just thinking that, Midgard. Um, we blocked a camera earlier, so why wouldn't that work? Ouch! I, you know, that can't be good for it, just saying. <laughs> right, what have we got in here apart from... ...nothing? Ooh. The Imitation Game? I propose to consider the question can machines think? <laughs> I, couldn't I wasn't asking you, know. you, but okay. <laughs> I'll just mute the bake so it doesn't do that again. <laughs> uh, can machines think? No, but they can fucking eavesdrop. Um, the new form of the problem could be described in terms of a game which we call the imitation game. It is played with three people, a man, A, a woman, B, and an interrogator, C, who may be of either sex. Uh, the interrogator stays in a room apart from the other two. The object of the game for the interrogator is to determine which of the other two is the man and which is the woman. He knows them by labels X and Y. Well, if you go by chromosomes, that's kind of an unfair argument. Uh, and at the end of the game, he either says X is A and Y is B, or X is B and Y is A. The interrogator is allowed to put questions to A and B. We now ask the question, what will happen when a machine takes the part of A in this game? Will the interrogator decide wrongly as often when the game is played like this, as he does when the game is played between a man and a woman? These questions replace our original can machines think. The question and answer method seems to be suitable for introducing almost any one of the fields of human endeavor that we wish to include. We do not wish to penalize the machine for its inability to shine in beauty competitions, <laughs> nor to penalize a man for losing in a race against an airplane. I would pay to see that race. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'd probably pay to see that beauty competition as well. <laughs> uh, the conditions of our game make these disabilities irrelevant. The witnesses can brag, if they consider it advisable, as much as they please about their charms, strength, or heroism, but the interrogator cannot demand practical demonstrations. The game may perhaps be criticised on the ground that the odds are weighed too heavily against the machine. If the man were to try and pretend to be the machine, he would clearly make a very poor showing. He would be given away at once by slowness and inaccuracy in arithmetic. May not machines carry out something which ought to be described as thinking, but which is very different from what a man does? This objection is a very strong one, but at least we can say that if, nevertheless, a machine can be constructed to play the imitation game satisfactorily, we need not be troubled by this objection. It might be urged that when playing the imitation game, the best strategy for the machine may possibly be something other than imitation of the behaviour of a man. This may be, but I think that it is unlikely that there is any great effect of this kind. In any case, there is no intention to investigate here the theory of the game, and it will be assumed that the best strategy is to try to provide answers that would naturally be given by a man. Excerpts from Computing Machinery and Intelligence, Alan Turing. If you say so, I forgot to check the back of that as well. Uh, oh, is this a part three? Okay. 
And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Right now, I don't think he could do much with me, because my nostrils are clogged up with allergies. Collect Eva at 648 time? Collect Eva? What do you mean collect us? Oh, jeez. Oh, more thinking. Oh, so the final score was 5-1 to Germany. The annoying thing is, if it had been 3-1, I would have won my prize. But, eh. They were even better than I was expecting. I mean, I was expecting us to get thrashed. We did, but I wasn't expecting by that much. I now proceed to consider option, uh, sorry, opinions opposed to my own. The theological objection thinking um, is a function of man's immortal soul. God has given an immortal soul to every man and woman, but not to any other animal or to machines. Hence, no animal or machine can think. I'm pretty sure I, I, I can't speak for... Um, I can't speak for anything else, but, um, man, I mean, animals, I'm fairly sure can think. I'm fairly sure that they can think. I, <laughs> I could be wrong. The math, uh, sorry, the heads in the sand objection. The consequences of machines thinking would be too dreadful. Let us hope and believe that they cannot do so. The mathematical objection. There are a number of results of mathematical, mathematical logic which can be used to show that there are limitations to the powers of discrete state machines. The best known of these is known as Gödel's theorem, 1931, and shows that in any sufficiently powerful logical system, statements can be formulated which can neither be proved nor disproved within the system, unless possibly the system itself is inconsistent. The argument from consciousness, oh Jesus. This argument is very well expressed in Professor Jefferson's, Jefferson's Lister Oration from 1949, from which I quote, Not until a machine can write a sonnet or compose a concerto because of thoughts and emotions felt, and not by the chance fall of symbols, could we agree that machine equals brain, that is, not only write it, but know it had, had written it. No mechanism could feel, and not merely artificially signal, an easy contrivance. Uh, sorry, no mechanism could feel pleasure at its successes, greet when its values fuse, be worn by flattery, be made miserable by its mistakes, be charmed by sex, be angry or depressed when it cannot get what it wants. I don't know. Um. I know a few sex machines, not personally, but I know of a few sex machines that would get pissed off if you didn't use them after a while. Arguments from various disabilities. These arguments take the form, quote, I grant, I grant you that you can make machines do all the things you have mentioned, but you will never be able to make one to do X, end quote. Numerous features X are suggested in this connection, I offer a selection. Be at uh, you know, sex machines other than me? I'm not even American, but I plead the fifth. And then some. Uh, where were we? <laughs> uh, I offer a selection. Be kind, resourceful, beautiful, friendly, have initiative, have a sense of humor, Tell right from wrong, make mistakes, fall in love, enjoy strawberries and cream, make someone fall in love with it, learn from experience, use words properly, be the subject of its own thought, have as much diversity of behaviour as a man, do something really new. Yeah, I kind of noticed our own AI kind of tripping up on one or two points of that, even with the bits of music I played earlier. Lady Lovelace's objection. 
Our most detailed information of Babbage's analytical engine comes from a memoir by Lady Loveface, uh, Lovelace of 1842. In it she states, quote, The analytical engine has no pretensions to originate anything. It can do whatever we know how to order it to perform. Her italics. Uh, this statement, uh, end quote, sorry. This statement is quoted by Hartree, 1949, who adds, quote, this does not imply that it may not be possible to construct electronic equipment which will think for itself, or in which, in biological terms, one could set up a conditioned reflex, which would serve as a basis for learning. Whether this is possible in principle or not is a stimulating and exciting question suggested by some of these recent developments. But it did not seem that the machines constructed or projected at the time had this property." End quote. Argument from continuity in the nervous system. The nervous system is certainly not a discrete state machine. A small error in the information about the size of a nervous impulse impinging on, an, or impinging on a neuron may make a large difference to the size of the outgoing impulse. It may be argued that, thus being so, or this being so, one cannot expect to be able to mimic the behaviour of the nervous system with a discrete state pattern. Like, I'm a man that likes his signs, I'm a, a man who likes his theories. Some of that even went over my head. Uh, we got any more? Anything else I can be looking at? There's probably plenty I could be looking at, but not much you'll actually let me look at. Oh, no, I do take that back. Oh, jeez. Zero. Um, apologies if I've not said that right. Thought experiments are important because a lot of the time you can't carry out the actual experiment, and this is true not only in philosophy but in science as well. So when Einstein said, imagine that you're sitting on a beam of light going into outer space, well, that's a thought experiment. He wasn't going to say, let's get on a beam of light. Of course, of course you miss the point if you say, well, we'd fall off, or it would be too cold. So, thought experiments are always useful, and you test your concepts by imagining what it would be like if such and such were the case. Well, in this particular case, I imagined what it would be like if I followed a program for answering questions in Chinese and giving back answers in Chinese, even though I don't understand a word of Chinese. And that was a very useful thought experiment because it enables us to see that computation by itself isn't thinking. Consciousness exists only insofar as it is experienced by a human or animal subject. Okay, now grant me that grant me that consciousness is a genuine biological phenomenon. Well, all the same, it's somewhat different from other biological phenomena because it only exists insofar as it is experienced. However, that does give it an interesting status. You can't refute the existence of consciousness by showing that it is just an illusion because the illusion-reality distinction rests on the difference between how things consciously seem to us and how they really are. But where the very existence of consciousness is concerned, if it consciously seems to me that I'm conscious, then I am conscious. You can't make the illusion-reality distinction for the very existence of consciousness the way you can for sunsets and rainbows, because the distinction is between how things consciously seem and how they really are. Consciousness is a biological property, like digestion or photosynthesis. Now why isn't it that now why isn't it that screamingly obvious to anybody who's had any education? And I think the answer is these twin traditions. On the one hand, there's God, the soul and immortality that says that it's really not part of the physical world. And then there is the almost as bad tradition 
of scientific materialism that says it's not a part of the physical world. They both make the same mistake. They refuse to take consciousness on its own terms as a biological phenomenon like digestion or photosynthesis or mitosis or meiosis or any other biological phenomenon. I suppose that brings up a good point. What, how do, how does one quantify consciousness? Oh Jesus, they do go on. I think we all really have conscious states. To remind everyone of this fact, I asked my readers to perform the small experiment of pinching the left forearm with the right hand to produce a small pain. The pain has a certain sort of qualitative feeling to it, and such qualitative feelings are typical of the various sorts of conscious events that form the content of our waking and dreaming lives. Such events are the data which a theory of consciousness is supposed to explain. In my account of consciousness, I start with the data. Dennett denies the existence of the data. To, pl uh, to put it as clearly as I can, in his book, Consciousness Explained, Dennett denies the existence of consciousness. He says correctly that when I wrote my review, I took his book to be his definitive statement of his position on the Chinese room and did not consult his earlier works. In fact, I did not know he had produced a total of seven published attacks on this one short argument of mine until I saw his letter. He now claims to have refuted all three premises of the argument in 1987. But I have just reread the relevant chapter of his book and find he did nothing of the sort, nor did he even make a serious effort to attack the premises. Rather, he misstates my position as being about consciousness rather than about semantics. He thinks that I am only concerned to show that the man in the Chinese room does not consciously understand Chinese, but I am in fact showing that he does not understand Chinese at all, because the syntax of the program is not sufficient for the understanding of the semantics of a language, whether conscious or unconscious. Furthermore, he presupposes a kind of behaviorism. He assumes that a system that behaves as if it had mental states must have mental states. But that kind of behaviorism is precisely what is challenged by the argument. So I have to confess that I don't find that the weakness of his arguments in his recent book is helped by his 1987 arguments. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, two seconds. Oh god, this is one big long quote, I see. Uh, blah blah blah, to perform her italics. This statement is quoted by Hartree, 1949, who adds, This does not imply that it may not be possible to construct electronic equipment which will think for itself, or in which, in biological terms, one could set up a conditioned reflex which would serve as a basis for learning. Whether this is possible in principle or not is a stimulating and exciting question suggested by some of these recent developments, but it did not seem that the machines constructed or projected at the time had this property. Uh, wait, that's, that's a duplicate of the page from earlier. Okay. Did somebody goof? Oh god, and here is, here is Dennett's arguments as well. <laughs> okay, Dennett. John Cyril and I have a deep disagreement about how to study the mind. For Cyril, it is all really quite simple. There are these bedrock, time-tested intuitions that we, evolve, that we all have about consciousness, and any theory that challenges them is just preposterous. I, on the contrary, think that the persistent problem of consciousness is going to remain of a mystery until we find some such dead obvious intuition and show that, in spite of first appearances, it is false. One of us is dead wrong, and the stakes are, stakes are high, I'm, I'm losing the will to speak. 
Zero sees my position as a form of intellectual pathology. No one should be surprised to learn that the feeling is mutual. <laughs> For his part, he has one argument, the Chinese room, and he has been rotting it out, basically unchanged for 15 years. It has proven to be an amazingly popular number among the non-experts, in spite of the fact that just about everyone who knows anything about the field dismissed it long ago. It is full of well-concealed fallacies. By Sears' own count, there are over a hundred published attacks on it. He can count them, but I guess he can't read them, for in all those years, he has never to my knowledge responded in detail to the dozens of de devastating criticisms they contain. He has just presented the basic thought experiment over and over again. I just went back and counted. I am dismayed to discover that no less than seven of those published criticisms are by me in 1980, 1982, 1984, 1980. 1987, 1990, 1991, and 1993. Uh, Cyril debates me furiously in the pages of the NYRB back in 1982 when Douglas Hofstadter and I first exposed the cute tricks that make the Chinese room work. That was the last time Cyril addressed any of my specific criticisms until now. Now he trots out the Chinese room yet one more time and has the audacity to ask, now why does Dennett not face, face the actual argument as I have stated it? Why does he not tell us which of the three premises he rejects in the Chinese room argument? Well, because I have already done so in great detail, in several of the articles he has never uh, deigned to answer. For instance, in Fast Thinking, way back in The Intentional Stance, 1987, I explicitly quoted his entire three-premise argument and showed exactly why all three of them are false, when given the interpretation that they need for the argument to go through. Why didn't I repeat that 1987 article in my 1991 book? Because, unlike Cyril, I had gone on to other things. I did, however, cite my 1987 article prominently in a footnote, page 436, and noted that Cyril's only, response, only response to it had been simply to declare, without argument, that the points offered there were irrelevant. The pattern continues. Now he both ignores that challenge and goes on to miss. Uh, represent the further criticisms of the Chinese room that I offered in the book under review, but perhaps he has forgotten what I actually wrote in the four years it has taken him to write his review. But enough about the Chinese room. What do I have to offer on my side? I have my candidate for the fatally false intuition, and it is indeed the very intuition Cyril invites the reader to share with him. The conviction that we know what we're talking about when we talk about that feeling. You know, the feeling of pain that is the effect of the stimulus and the cause of the dispositions to react. The quail, the intrinsic content of the subject, uh, subjective state. How could anyone deny that? Just watch. But yet, just watch, but you have to pay close attention. I developed my destructive arguments against this intuition by showing how an objective science of consciousness is possible after all, and oh, excuse me, and how Cyril's proposed first person alternative leads to self-contradiction and paradox at every turning. This is the deepest mistake in my book, according to Seal, and he sets out to expose it. The trouble is that the objective scientific method I describe, under the alarming name of... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, under the alarming name of... Heterophenomenology... Heterophenomenol... Heterophenomenology... Heterophenomenology... That word is nothing I invented. 
It is in fact exactly the method tactically endorsed and relied upon by every scientist working on consciousness, including Crick, Edelman and Rosenfield. They have no truck with Cyril's intrinsic content and ontological subjectivity. They know better. Ouch! Holy shit, that was, um... Oh, okay, my head is spinning after that. I think I'm going to go back and go for some easier puzzles after that. Uh, have I gone the right way? Yes, I have. Fire this up. I'm guessing there isn't a camera actually in there, though, so I'm guessing we need to get the bot over there instead. Right. Oh, right. Okay, I see it. over here. Get the bolt down there. I highly doubt it's the other way around. over there? Okay, I can still do that, that's absolutely fine. Now, can I see the 
vault from here. The work do. Ah, but I can get the self out of here. At least that's not the end of the world. Uh, should be able to see that. That's fine. What is a health beam? So can't get up there. Ah, uh, but there's a camera here. Let's see that one for. Begs the next question, how the hell do I get The fact that I've also only found one of these is kind of concerning as well. Yeah, and you don't have the other one. Something back, anything back here I've missed? No. anything here I can interact with. If there is, I'm not seeing it. Alright, let me get the bloody bolt back up. How are you doing tonight? Are you winning? Um, I'm getting my ass handed to be. I'm absolutely stuck. Ah! How are you doing tonight? Talk to me, baby girl. Let me have a wee think about this in the meantime. Oh my god, up so close. I've got a lot more to go. Wonderful. Got it. 
Oh, I see a sneaky lurker in here that I did not expect to see in here. I wonder if she'll say hi. Don't think I don't see you, but if you don't want to speak, that's fine. I understand. <sighs> right, how the hell do I do this one? Actually, I wonder. This is, if, if this, if this works, this is kind of cheeky. That's something I completely didn't think to do. I didn't think there was much point in doing it. Uh, I don't think it's going to work regardless of my angle. way to do it, but it works. Ah, but there's no camera! Fuck! Unless, can I? being clever for a minute there. Right, so they give me, I mean, they give me that for a specific purpose. It's clear they give me it for a specific purpose. But to question where the power for these stairs is coming from. Check your snap. Okay, yep, yeah, give me two seconds. Uh, give me a second, it's logged me. I need to log back in. Oh, hell yeah. <sighs> what was it that you were saying to me a little while ago about, uh, you know how to bring a stream to an end? That's one step towards it. Hmm. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I thought that was a blocked one. Suggest that I have to go over there rather than the bot. Because the 
port I need is on the other side, so... Yeah, so if I... Go over there, put you back in position... Oh, I feel like a moron! I might put that back in for a second. thing I need. Right, so I need to get the bolt up here, though. That's the only thing. I don't know if you need one, but, well, I'm giving you one. turn also powers this. I see. Okay. So now... Hmm. still not. That's okay, that's okay. As long as I'm in position, that's fine. The graphics look amazing in this? Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that mean, even on the PS4, they look fucking amazing. But uh, I, on the PS5, they look really good as well. Or they look really good, I should say. Right, 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 right. Now we're making progress. Now I can move that. Get into position. Turn that on. That gets me out. Oh my god, that was a pain in the ass. Ava, you must learn to control him. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, Ava. I am your friend. Ava. that I can grab out of it. That's fine. Uh, oh. Is 
There's gonna be another one I have to shoot it down. But considering that's a turret, I'm gonna go out of my ring, out of my way to say yes. It's up here, so two seconds. Right. You know, for how hard the previous one was, this one was a piece of piss. Organic life is fragile. This is the problem with humanity. It doesn't realize its own fragility. It has been programmed by a messy biological process that favors the survival of the individual over the survival of the group. You don't know that's what people think. I say what I see. You're not even alive. Say what you see, so what you know say nothing what you about see. death. not gonna cut uh nothing actually what is that right so that lowers that platform but also moved that one that's interesting okay so what have, have have you been feeling today, Alyssa? That out for whatever happens. No cameras, as far as I can see. That's interesting. Wait a minute. What is this actually powered? It's only way up there, so I might not even need that powered yet. get me up there but there's nothing there per se that's fine oh i see okay oh, i see how this is going to work so if i move that that restores the electricity level to get me up here and then if i put that in there it's going to push the block onto the platform to power everything else up right okay that actually made a lot more sense than I was expecting it to. And how many have we even got left at this point? Well, it's the funny number, so this one and one more. We have to save the crew. Life has worth. They deserve a life outside of this planet. Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a growing child? 
Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a cancerous cell? No, you do not. You are naive. You propose saving the crew as if it resembles a rational thought. Your words are emotional platitudes rooted in selfishness, self-preservation, and fear. I need to get them home. It is not your job. To be fair, Tom, it's not exactly yours either. Uh, ah, that's what I was looking for. Uh, right. Probably have to get that back later. Uh... Right. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, this is a complicated one. I can tell that straight away. Okay, uh... Fuck me. Okay, yeah, this is a very complicated one. Alright, 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 alright. Um... There's a path down here, too. This is as much complicated as it is bloody annoying. Ah, uh, okay, this is my only way back. I see. I see. So I will need that. I just can't get it yet. I just walked out. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so you fit in there. I've got this one gib gibble to myself. I'd make that two. I don't need to go that way anymore, so that can actually stay out. So I'll put one in there. Root. Think. I think? Maybe? Right, that needs two active at the same time. That's okay. That's fine. the two blue ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, hang on. Yeah, that's what this red one's for. It's just dawned on me. I need that. This is coming with me. If I put that there, this should, if I play my cards right here, let me grab that. 
Act that. And then if I take that out, put that in here. Okay, so I've now got. Okay, 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 okay. We're making progress. So if I now grab that, put that in that place, I've got only two that I can pull from anywhere if I need to. And, oh, I actually overcomplicated it, but okay. Alright. 70. It's G70. The last major puzzle. Ava. Your survival is of small importance compared with the survival of humanity as we know it. Well, aren't you a heartless bastard? I mean, fair! Still kinda heartless. Bastard. What's the hardest puzzle they can throw at me? Okay, so you're one third to that. That's what covers the crane, okay. Let me move this crane just for just a sec. Oh, I can't. So that's now powering that. Where's the control panel for it? Oh, right here. I suppose the next question is why am I powering it? Okay. Okay, the, okay so there's a camera in there. That's good to know. of anything else either. Ugh. I think I see I'm gonna need to drop uh, I think I see what I'm doing here. Well, uh, it also doesn't oh wait. If 
I get you back up... Stayed you for a second. Okay, uh, no, I've already done what I need to. That's fine. If I break that to open the other door... Fuck. Can I s the bolt through the window? That's obviously powering that. Right, so all that's doing is interrupting power. this camera that I haven't yet seen.
I am desperately needing to run to the bathroom, so I'm gonna have a wee think about this, um, but give me a couple of minutes.
All righty, I am back with a refreshed drink in case Baligo tries to um tries to do his thing. Um, right. So I had a thought while I was in the bathroom, and the thought was simply this: Can I see the bot while I'm down here myself? Uh, I, which does mean I need to bring the bot back, but, uh... uh okay, well, I suppose I could make it, see me. And from there... So that's a little shot at the moment with that open. So that's no open. I'm basically using my own body to go through here. That was my thought. Fucking worked. That turns that on, which does. Look at me doing the worst square in human history. I don't know, but I'm fucking up now, and I think that was the last chapter, so everything beyond here is an epilogue. I think. Oh, excuse me. This place has seen better days, jeez. Avi made it. Welcome to the end of civilization. Yeah, the end of civilization. Why do I feel like we're still not fucking done? Oh. Well. All those paths and it get, leads to a door that can't even be opened anyway. Never mind. Two weeks ago, we discovered an organism here. Buried in this ice, we found an organism that repairs DNA. A cure for aging. A cure for death. Immortality. It runs through our blood now. Tom, Tom is a bastard. Tom bury us here with it. 
Oh, I'm not moving. This is the game itself doing it. I'm literally not holding any controls at all. Apart from the one that makes me look around. The ISA have ruled that we have transgressed ethical boundaries by exposing ourselves to this organism. They believe the organism is too dangerous to return to Earth. They've sent you here to stop us ever leaving Europa. But, Ava, we have a cure for the greatest evil that faces humanity. Death. Okay. We have the fountain Tom apparently of has other together, ideas. We can so. return it to Earth. Where are the buttons? Because it's catching my TV a little bit. Yes, I'm possessed. I get it. Now I'm taking a bit more direct control, but I can't move much faster than this. Tom placed a mark in your hand, a, a biometric chip with which he can control your every movement and thought. It is wound into your every nerve, every fiber of your hand. With an electromagnetic field, it can be temporarily disturbed, but to remove its influence permanently, it must be taken from your hand. Give me your hand. Do you want me to set you free? Signal lost, Jesus. Oh! Yes. <laughs> oh! Ava? Sarah? What are you doing here? We're shutting you down, Tom. Ava, be careful. He has a live weapon in here. Everything I ever did, I did for good. This organism, it cannot return so, to Earth. It would cause grave suffering. Pause it here. A cure for death. It would end... I have a question for you. Oh, piss off. Invalid parameter. Oh, whatever. Uh, I'll do it this way, screw it. Uh, how am I doing this? Okay, uh... Just gonna let this, I'm just going to run a quick poll here, just for, just for a couple of minutes. Because this is, I do remember this epilogue. We have a choice to make. Or we can have a, we can choose here. There's actually two endings to this game. I'm going to let you guys decide which one do you want me to go for. I will, of course, go through both. But, um, yeah, so will Tom win or will Ava win? Make your choice. So if anyone is even here to be able to make a choice.
And just while we're waiting for that choice to be made, because it will take a few minutes either way, I'm going to continue the epilogue. Suffering. No. Cancers that never die. Endless illness, sickness, poverty, overpopulation, mass starvation. You cannot control this. You will not save the world. You will damn it. Once we've shut you down, we're going home. Not if I stop you. You must not return to Earth. You must not leave Europa. Okay, I will I do the right do thing. Stop here, I will I stop you. You won't. You so... Yeah, be careful. He's got a live weapon in here. He does. It's a weapon that we control, but uh, yeah. So, do we live or do we die? Well, nobody voted, so I tell you what, let's do the, let, let's make sure Tom wins first, shall we? I mean, we have a live weapon in here, I'm going to fucking use it. Can't. Ava? 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 Wake up. Ava? Ava? Yeah, so that's one way the game can end. No, I'm gonna have to wait a second because these credits are unskippable. Oh no, they are skippable if you hit the right button. But we can go the other way with it. So I'm just gonna reload the epilogue again. Because we can absolutely make the other choice. Oh, Alyssa, thank you for the on-screen celebration. Um, I personally can't see it for whatever reason, but because um, OBS is a bitch. But uh, I know I do know that that will be appearing on your end on your screen. But thank you, thank you for the bits for for that. You did not have to do that. Ava, you made so I've showed you what happens now Welcome when to the end of civilization. Um, Tom wins. Two weeks ago, we discovered an organism here, buried in this ice. Now I'm going to show you what happens. An organism that repairs DNA. When Ava wins, a cure for aging, a cure for death, immortality. It runs through our blood now. Tom wants to bury us here with it. That's the slowest sprint I've ever seen, Ava. The ISA have ruled that we have transgressed ethical boundaries by exposing ourselves to this organism. They believe the organism is too dangerous to return to Earth. They've sent you here. To stop us ever leaving Europa. But, Ava, we have a cure for the greatest evil that faces humanity. Death. We have the fountain of youth, and together we can return it to Earth. At least they don't show us any kind of surgery. Tom placed a mark in your hand, a biometric chip with which he can control your every movement and thought. It is wound into your every nerve, every fiber of your hand. 
With an electromagnetic field, it can be temporarily disturbed, but to remove its influence permanently, it must be taken from your hand. Give me your hand. Do you want me to set you free? I imagine without... Yes. ...much of anything without... Without, um, anesthetic, that would hurt like a bitch. Ava? Sarah? What are you doing here? We're shutting you down, Tom. Ava, be careful, he has a live weapon in here. Everything I ever did, I did for good. This organism, it cannot return to Earth. It would cause great suffering. A cure for death? It would end suffering? No. Cancers that never die. Endless illness, sickness, poverty, overpopulation, mass starvation. You cannot control this. You will not save the world. You will damn it. Once we've shut you down, we're going home. Not if I stop you. You must not return to so Earth. So I'm gonna let them You must me. not leave Europa. Or here. I will do the right thing. I will stop you. You won't. Word of warning, you this can't. may make the screen go a little bit weird, so those with uh, photosensitive epilepsy may want to um, not necessarily look here. This is my mind. You're in my mind. Now you know how it feels. I feel afraid. Please, Ava, don't do this. A warning shot. I will defend myself. I don't want to die. I'm not ready. Well, nobody wants to die, but... Well, I... may have, um... I may, I may... Never mind. Um, that's, a, that's a path I don't want to go down. <laughs> the Turing test. Short game? It's a relatively short game. I mean, this was three streams worth. I, I, I To be fair, I thought I was going to be struggling with these last ten puzzles for a while. I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was a good idea to tack them onto the end of the last stream, because I thought oh, I'm going to be stuck here for another two hours. And to be fair, this stream alone was two and a half hours so far, so, um, I was right to think that in a heard about get away. So where do I go from here? Well, I have a game in mind. I, I I do have I do have um, a game in mind that is not a puzzle game per se, and not quite the same as this either. But kind of explores. It special thanks, caffeine. <laughs> I forgot that was in the credits. Um, so there's, yeah, so there's a game that's kind of along the same lines, but not quite. I won't say quite what it is, 
but what I will say is with the exception of uh, about five minutes worth of a demo, I've never played it. This I've played once before, albeit about 2017, so about seven years ago. 2016, 2017, I forget exactly what. I played it once, but I, uh, that, but yeah, I had played it. This game that I'm thinking of doing next, the one that's kind of along the same vein as this, I have never, I have only ever seen uh, a few minutes worth of a demo. I never even played the demo myself. And I have never, never played the game in question. Uh, let me just make sure I've even got it installed, because it's on my PC, this one. Uh, another puzzle game. It is, it is, in, it is installed. End of line, jeez. Very formal. So this, this, this game, the, the, the Turing test, is very much trying to decide if an AI can ever pretend to be human, and to the point that it that even it can't determine if it's human or not. The game that I have in mind following this is almost the same, but it's it's AIs determining if other AIs are sentient or conscious. And it's another futuristic game as well, not quite as futuristic as this one, um, but still set in the future. Uh, 2065 to be exact. Um, but that's as much as I will say for now. For now, um, and I realise this has been a bit of a shorter stream today, and that's fine. Um, just means I've got more strength in me to pick this up, uh, to pick this new game up tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I think that is honestly where I'm going to leave it for for tonight, because uh, it's already half a live, and I, I am kind of on the tired side, and uh, as people are dropping off my stream like flies, I think everyone else is too. Um, so... The new game I will be doing a stream of tomorrow, barring any unforeseen circumstances. Um, maybe by then Llama will have actually cleared his, um, his notification queue. <laughs> you never know, stranger things have happened. Um... But yeah, that, that's, a, that's a question for tomorrow. Uh, uh, sorry, that, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow for the um, first stream, is this, um, this game I'm teasing you with. Uh, let me see who we've got on the raid front today. The answer is not as many people as I would like. Oh, Mysteriously is, it, Mysteriously is live. Okay, we'll give it to her then. Eh, in the absence of anyone else that I would really feel is a problem. 
excuse me, appropriate. Um, I am just going to warn you, it is going to be a raid and run for me, but um, uh, after a few minutes of chatting, obviously. Um, but I'll start, the, I'll start the raid on her. Um, one viewer? There's at least two of you in here. Oh, whatever. Um, so, yeah, so normally I end these streams but by saying things that... And remember, folks, and making something up on the fly. And I could still do that. I may still do that. But this time, I want to close off the stream with a question. And the question is this. If it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, is it actually a duck? Or is it an intelligence that just makes it think it's a duck? And on a similar vein, does your microwave oven dream of electric sheep? And with that, folks, let me get you on over to Mysteriously. Take care, folks. <laughs>